Tell me, uh, uh, Tyler, uh, you and Devin, Devin said you guys are a package deal. Yeah. What, 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 how did that come about? Well, I met Devin about 7th, 8th grade at a camp, Nike Top 100 camp, and we were on the same team, and we just, you know, played great together. He did what he did, shoot the ball and score, and I just fed him every time, and we just clicked ever since then. We've been on the same team at a lot more camps. Barely lost, won the championships a couple times, so, you know, we thought it was great to play together. Did you guys room together even, you know, to that? Oh, uh, we didn't room together back then, but yeah. as we, you know, got to the NBA Top 100 camp, McDonald's, Jordan, we room together in all of those. How about here? Oh, yeah, we room together here, too. <laughs> so, you know, we've been together a lot. I'm starting to get tired of them. <laughs> <laughs> he said that uh, you guys would communicate during the recruiting process. It was like every day. Oh, yeah, me, me and Buck, yeah, we talked almost every day. We, about what? what sort uh, just, of just talking like it wasn't about basketball all the time you know just seeing what's up what, what you doing what you up to just you know talking as friends now, now uh, uh Tyler, you, you, there's been you've already created a buzz, I would think. I mean, I'm sure you, you sense that or aware of it with how you played in the Bahamas and how. Uh, what, do, what do you think of that? That uh, you know, before uh, the season's still months away, and there's already, would you agree, a buzz? Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm just trying to focus on the season right now. Just you know, focus on the team. Just try to do what's best for us and play hard to win a national championship. Well, t uh, of course the. Marcus Lee told us in the Bahamas about you and uh, DeMarcus Cousins. <laughs> tell, tell me about that. What precipitated that? Uh, it was just a, you know, pickup game where a uh, call got called that he didn't like. So, you know, we had a... You called a foul. Yeah, I called a foul. And we had did, went did back and forth. Did you drive and you felt like... I drive and somebody else fouled me. And I called foul and he didn't think it was a foul. So, yeah. And then what happened? Uh, we just, you know, argued back and forth about the call for a couple minutes and, you know, everybody walked to the other end. I was, me and Devin actually stayed on this end, I was trying to wait for our call, and we end up, they end up not giving us the call. You ended up not getting the no, call? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what goes through your mind when you're, it sounds like, you know, you confronted him. You didn't just defer to a guy that's a foot taller than you and 100 pounds heavier and all that <laughs> stuff. Uh, nothing really went through my mind. It was just the fact that I called a foul, so you know, you just respect the call. But you know, it was all just competitive out there playing. You know, it wasn't anything serious, so it was just a fun time. Yeah, I didn't mean that. Yeah, I know. You know it got ugly. But <laughs> was there any sense of uh, fear for a moment about this guy is big? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> how uh, how often have you heard that through your life, especially basketball wise? Too small and all that stuff. I've heard that all my life. Just uh, I was too small to play the game, too small to play high school basketball, college basketball. Um, I proved a lot of people wrong through my high school career. And now I'm just trying to go out there and play for the team and just win a national championship. What do you think that's born of? Why do you think you did not accept the idea that, okay, everybody says I'm too small, I'm too small? Because I love the game, this is what I want to do. So I can't just, you know, defer to what people say. I just have to go out there and do what I know I can do best and play. Did you, now I understand you have a, pardon the expression, little brother, it, it, and he's the same way. Is that accurate? Right, yeah. My, my youngest brother is, uh, he's a great basketball player right now. He's getting a lot better, but I think he's going to be a lot taller than me, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, he, he's growing a lot right now, so hopefully he doesn't have the same problem. <laughs> is he uh, taller than you right now? No, of course oh, not. not. <laughs> How old is he? He's uh, 12. 12. What's his name? Aaron. Aaron. Yes. Okay. How about your father? Is he a tall man? He's uh, six foot. Oh, he is six yeah. foot. And your mother must be short. five six. How, do you ever lament that you're not six two, six three? No, not really. Um, God blessed me with my height. He blessed me with a lot of other things too. So uh, I just have to live with it. You, you ran into a few screams in uh, in the Bahamas. <laughs> How much did they hurt? Um, they hurt for that split second, especially the first one. But, you know, I just had to get up, make sure nobody really thought I was seriously injured, and just, you know, talk to my bigs about the situation that we had, not calling screens out. But, you know, we all got together. They started calling screens out, and you see it didn't happen for the next five games. 
How much did that happen on the high school level or AAU or, you know? Uh, it, it's actually happened a lot. You know, really? it comes with pressure in the ball full court because sometimes when the guy takes the ball out, he just stands there and takes the screen. Um, and it's sometimes actually hard for the bigs to call that out if they're way down court. But, you know, it's just, you know, something I have to live with. Now you, uh, as I understand it, you've been trying to gain weight. Yes. How much, uh, what have you done to try to get that? They've just had me eat a lot more than I've ate in the past, eating three, four meals a day, snacks in between, just, and it's working out for me. I've gained eight pounds so far. Eight pounds. How does that impact, uh, you know, how you play? Uh, it's going to impact a lot. Playing against Andrew every day, I have to be stronger and bigger the way he plays basketball, physical, and just, you know, for my body to stay ready throughout the season. I noticed one time when we were watching practice and Coach Cal stopped play and was talking, and you were kind of pestering Aaron. You were kind of giving him the business. And I wondered if that's just how you, you know what I mean, that's just in your DNA. Yeah, that's just how I play uh, I have to play as a smaller guard. Thanks. Yep, no appreciate it.